Hi folks, Zippy back again with the part three of Fuse Claptons and how to make Fuse Claptons. Today we're going to install them into the Velocity deck and I'm using my Coilmaster 521. Anyway, we shall get right to it here. Okay, so, so you're going to take your, I usually use a screwdriver, easier to hang on to, or Phillips, whatever you want to call it. And you're going to go in the top hole of one and the bottom hole of the other. Okay, and hopefully my coil cooperates today because it doesn't seem to want to cooperate at all lately. Okay, and okay, so then basically I try to get them as close. I'll see if I can move my fat fingers. As close to the deck as possible and don't worry about it right now you're going to straighten it out in a minute and then what I like to do is take my oh so fancy tool and once you get it in the one side I tighten them up on the one side uh, maybe if I don't have issues here and I seem to be having issues and you don't have to really like reef on them, just tighten them up nice and snug so that they're in place and they're not going to fall back out or wiggle or do any kind of weird shit. So that's good for the one side. Uh oh, I always have this is Okay, so now what I do is push this in. And because it's such an awkward spot, I usually try to, hopefully this is going to work without me freaking losing my, well, okay. And I just flip my screwdriver around, that way I can get my tool in there. Okay, make sure that one's nice and, you don't want your coil touching the posts though, like just, uh, okay, let's see it. And this suck out to tighten up. And I need a better tool. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Okay, so then what do I do when it's at this point is I kind of put it where I want it to be. I don't want it like near the bottom to make sure it's centered. Centered in the... It's not pretty right now. We'll fix it. Mm -hmm. Probably not as close as I want to be there. Nope. Okay. So I guess we'll... So this is the time to adjust all your stuff. So we'll just do this now. Before I I prefer them a little closer than it says 0.29, but they're not adjusted or fired or anything like that, which is what we're going to do now. Because I did have an issue here. So like I said, you just want to sort of pulse a bit. I'm starting to see the smooth coming off. Once you do it a couple times, then you can light them up. Okay, now, so I'm going to turn it this way, and you can see what I mean about arcing, or like hot spots. I don't know what the term for it is, but you can see it right at the top out there. So what I do sometimes, the first thing I'll do is give them like a scoop. Oh, I'll give them a, a squeeze. Just, you know, because sometimes they just need to be tweaked a little bit. This guy is giving me nothing but issues here. I don't know why. Okay, so we'll try again. I don't know why, but this thing is not firing very well. I don't even know what's going on with this guy. It doesn't want to light up. Okay, there he goes. Woo. Okay. So now what I do at this point is... Okay, I will squeeze them together. 
Let's play this song. Now the one thing is when you're doing your coils, when you heat the mop, the wire shrinks. And then you have to, like all your grub screws, you have to go around and tighten all up again. I think my coil master is kind of dying out here. I think the battery's not too good and I don't know why that guy's not firing. Okay, let's do some tweaking here. Okay, so I'm going to tighten everything up because it's probably, yeah, that guy's loose. This guy is definitely loose. Oh. Mm. That guy really is loose. And this is what happens when you... Okay, that goes okay, so we'll try this again. Let's see now. And I don't know what's going on here, but my Okay, so you can see the gaps in this one over here, so so basically I'm going to give this another squeeze. Yeah, see how loose that is. So you want to hold that, just, and you just keep doing this till they just kind of basically you're hardening them. And there's still lots of gaps, but you just kind of have to play with it a little bit, and you get faster at this as you go. So okay, so let that go, and we'll if you just hold it as it's cooling down. It should stay, and of course this guy is just going to be a, this guy just doesn't like me today. Oh, okay, and everything is nice and tight, and I guess so there's your, there's your coils, and I think I'm still going to, because Zippy has issues here, so I'm going to just straighten it out a bit. Okay, and we're good. There's your coils installed. And I think since I'm here, might as well continue wicking. So I got my, this is my Platinum Bland Native Wicks Fuzz. And we're going to continue on here. Okay, so I've got some pieces out here. I'll just, hang on, I'll just back that up for a minute. Okay, so I like to... And you don't need gobs of it. You don't want it too tight in your coil, because if it's too tight, then you're going to end up with some dry hits. And that's not nice. And I just, I give mine a little roll. A little roll. Okay. And then, and just stick it through. And I'm trying to touch the coil because it's probably going to be kind of warm. So I pull it to the middle like this. And then give it a little back and forth, because like I said, you don't want too tight. Okay. And then, now this is an RDA. If it, this was a tank, it'd be a little different. Let's see. Um, this is a little long for me. And so I'm going to, I guess we don't need the power on. Let's we'll shut that off. Okay, so... And I'm just going to cut it down just about halfway down. And apparently my scissors has issues. Oy, oy, oy. Apparently I'm just not supposed to do this today, I guess. Boy, oh boy. Okay. I got sticky scissors. Yuck. Okay. Here we go. Now, I don't like it so fat, so what I do is I just, even with the coil straight back, like... Take that bunch off. Okay, I don't know what's on my scissors. Yuck. Okay, now this one here. 
And there's some little trim here. Okay. And I take my little pointy scissors, or tweezers, oh god. And I didn't even have a drink today, woohoo! Or last night, there we go. Okay, and that's that side. And we'll do this side. Like I said, I don't like it. Well, I don't like a lot of, um, I don't like my quilts jam times. This might even be a little bit too much, but we'll try. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit too much. You get to, you'll get to know after a while when you make, when you wick your coils, how much is enough. Okay. And here we go again. Okay. This is this troublesome coil and he just doesn't like me. I don't know. I'd have to squash his butt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. And, just, and don't yank on your on your because you'll just mess up your coil. Same deal. I pull it about halfway, and then blink, 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 blink. Okay, and then cut about halfway. I don't know what I got on my scissors. I was playing with juice yesterday. Yuck. Okay, now this guy is really super fuzzy, so I'm gonna cut him. And cut him. Okay. He's still a little fat, but like I said, it's an RDA, so. It doesn't matter. Uh -huh. oh. I'm gonna tuck him in there. Yes. Oh. Oh, I'm telling you. Okay. And there you have it, folks. There's your nice shiny RDA ready to go with some yummy zippy shots. Have a good day, folks. Bye.